Hi guys, so you know I did say that I wanted to do little updates um, about my life and uh, for this first one I have some really really exciting news which I just got and so it's actually really it's wonderful and it's appropriate for my first ever little short video update so I want to call these updates 10 minutes a day with Jay. <laughs> I like I like that name, 10 minutes a day with Jay. So um, that's what I'm going to call it. And uh, you guys are going to like it. I don't care. You're going to like it. So anyway, pardon my terrible hair today. Um, okay, let's get to it. I'm about to show you something on the screen that's really exciting. You ready? Okay, ta-da! Alright, so just now, I got a notification saying I got uh, an email. And then when I read that the the sender of the email was a big hit, I got a fucking shock. I was like, this must be some kind of spam or whatever. But then I opened it and it basically said Big Hit Entertainment to me. And then it had a big congratulations in the title with my name in it. And it said... Congratulations, you've got the BTS Studio Admission Ticket for the BTS World Tour. Love yourself. Oh my god. Um, it's actually not even for the coming uh, concert that that's on the 19th of this month. It's actually for a very far away date, April 7th, for the Thailand-Bangkok concert. Um, but whatever, I'm still fucking happy actually. I honestly don't understand why the video quality is slightly blurry. I hope it's not anymore. I wiped my lens down like really thoroughly. It's super clean now. But anyway, so yeah, when I saw that, okay, uh, confession, when I read the email, I put my phone down and then I cried for like five minutes. <laughs> Pretty sure I can cry anytime now also just because... I fucking have been waiting so long for this shit and trust me when I tell you I've tried a lot to get into BTS studio. I'm an official BTS army member with membership that I pay for every year and I've never gotten into BTS studio ever before. I go to like every concert that they have in Seoul. And I went to fan readings and whatever. Well, fan readings don't count. There's not a studio there. But yeah. And then um, in 2017 in December, which was their final uh, closing tour, closing concerts for the Wings tour, I waited in line. Oh, sorry. I waited in line for three hours at the freaking, um, for the freaking BTS studio. And, um... It's getting cloudy out and that's why <laughs> everything's changed <laughs> okay so i waited in line for three hours and then was turned away at the end because they had a limited number of people that could take uh photos in the studio and also like a limited amount of time that the studio would be open so that was just incredibly disappointing for me so trust me when I say I'm incredibly happy right now. I honestly did burst into tears and then uh, I fixed my eyeliner and then came to record this video. <laughs> so um, yeah, and then is it back to being blurry or I don't know, whatever, okay. Anyway, and then I came to record this video because I really couldn't wait to share this with you guys. I'm definitely going to make vlogs about it, even though I know it's in April and it's so far away. And I didn't get a ticket to the Singapore one, but that's fine. I'm still incredibly happy about this. As long as I get into a studio at any time, it's fine. Just the experience of being able to do it once, I'm incredibly happy. So I definitely will be making vlogs 
and um, I'll start with the Singapore one first. So, uh, starting this weekend, I will already be posting videos about how to get to the location and what you can do around the location in Singapore and then um, when I go to the Love Yourself concert in Bangkok I definitely will be making a vlog about that as well but that's in April it's really far away but it doesn't matter I'm just so thankful that I have the opportunity to go finally finally um, it was really disheartening for me it was disappointing for because even for the concerts um, the Love Yourself tour in August last year, the first the first ones that were in Seoul, I applied for a time slot on both days and didn't get into any of them. So that was just, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That was just frustrating because it's like, I felt like what was the point of paying for my membership every year and not even being able to get into uh you know the bts studio because that was supposed to be a privilege uh that should have given like official army army members priority but then yeah i know that's oh there will be people that don't agree with that but it's like that's the case for that's how it goes for everywhere like when you pay for something you should have uh, like more privileges than the rest and that's how it works in the adult world also like with club memberships and you know memberships at stores and stuff like that there's always privileges for members and that's how it works so if you don't agree with that too fucking bad um but anyway all of that aside about paying for anything aside um this time I will agree that it's like a lot of the times when people make comments like um, you're so lucky you get to do this and that and whatever and usually my reply is it wasn't luck uh, I worked hard for it it was strategic planning it was effort it was I can afford this because I have a job I can go to all these places because I'm the right age and I'm an, a responsible adult and things like that so usually I have some sort of reality check for a person when they say, oh, it was luck, you're so lucky. But this time around, I'll give it to you. I'll admit, it was luck. It was pure luck because this was like by random selection and not based on like first come first serve basis or anything like that. So, um, so yes, it's luck. It's luck. I was lucky. I'm very lucky. This time around, thank you very much, Big Hit, for finally seeing that a girl, your girl, Lapjun's girl, deserves to be in the freaking studio. And um, I'm definitely going to record as much as I can to show you guys. So anyway, even though this wasn't exactly 10 minutes, it's I think it's a little bit shorter than that, but this is all the time I've got. And if I have a little bit more news, I'm going to add it on before I post it later. But this has been number of minutes a day with Jay. We'll just stick to 10, okay? 10 minutes a day with Jay. And um, maybe it might be a daily thing. I think that might be fun. 10 minutes a day with Jay. All right? So, so let me know in the comments if you guys want me to make it a little bit of a daily thing. I, I think that might be fun. 10 minutes a day with Jay. A little bit of daily update every day. We'll come up with something to talk about and you guys can respond in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll make sure it's, a, it's something relatable or, you know, anyway, there's always something going on in my life that's pretty damn exciting. <laughs> And I really would love to just like be able to talk to you guys about it. So yeah, instead of doing lives that everyone can't attend or can't catch, it's I think this might be a little bit better. So okay, I will see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Bye!